Hi guys, I'm Jessie from Niobe Zoo and I'm actually the primary carnivore keeper. And we have Nico here, the snow leopard with us today. He's very excited to see me if you can't tell. So I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about snow leopard adaptations in the wild. So let's take a look at Nico real close. And if you see him, he's got different colors than an African leopard, which a lot of people think are yellow leopards. Does he look yellow to you? No. Not at all. So if you look at him, he's got blacks and grays and whites. So those colors help him camouflage in the wild. So camouflage just means it blends in with his natural surroundings. Now why on earth would he need to blend in with his natural surroundings? Any guesses? He needs to blend in for any kind of predators. And actually his main predator in the wild, believe it or not, is humans, so it's us. But so if you look at his coloration, these guys are called snow leopards, which means they're found high up in the mountains where snow and rocks are found. So those black silhouettes actually help him camouflage because they would be the spaces in between the rocks where they would be. So another cool thing about him, if he would actually get up and walk around for us, they have really long tails. Their tails are as long as their entire body. So if you look at those long tails, have any of you ever skipped rocks or tried to cross a stream and you've had to use your hands out to keep balance? Well, if you walk along and put your hands out to keep balance, that's exactly what their tails are. So those tails help them keep balance. These guys can jump 30 to 50 feet in one leap. So if you're at home, I want you to stand like this and take both arms and give me a good jump. And you tell me, do you think I just jumped 30 to 50 feet? Not even close. So try that with your brothers and sisters at home and see who can jump the farthest. So another thing with those tails, do you guys get cold in the winter? Most of the time you see me in the winter around the zoo and I always have something around my neck. But today's beautiful, so I don't have that today. But these guys have a built-in scarf. So it helps them keep warm in the winter time as they'll curl up and they wrap that tail up around their heads and it keeps them nice and toasty warm. So one more thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is look at those feet. See how thick those feet are? Definitely if you have dogs and cats at home, you'll see that they all have fur on their feet, but their feet compared to any other leopard is thicker and wider. They have extra fur in between the pads of their feet and their toes. And that's because they're snow leopards and they walk on the snow. So that extra fur helps widen their toes out so it acts as snowshoes. So as they walk along the ground, they can stay on top of the snow, which is gonna help them because they don't wanna have to burn any extra energy that they don't have to. All right, guys, we'll stay tuned and we'll talk about the snow leopards even more. Enjoy your day off.